Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry if you can hear the fan in the background. It's extremely hot in my room right now. But anyway, if you missed the original Dark Souls 1 series or if you're just new to the channel, basically whenever I do things that I deem as being important, like boss fights or exploring new areas off camera, I go ahead and include a recap section in the following episode. So I went back to Lost Bastille and I decided it was time to take care of that boss that we left off with last episode. I went ahead and summoned in the two phantoms that you could summon in right before the boss fight. I figured, look, if I'm going up against three other dudes, I might as well bring two Two other people with me so then it's a fair fight so i went ahead and i summoned both of them in but as soon as we went in there i already knew the boss fight was gonna be a little bit rough and uh yeah we got our asses handed to us but luckily on my second go i went ahead summoned both of them in again and we ended up crushing them At the time of me recording this, that is all that I have accomplished since then, but I guarantee I'm about to hop back on and do some more, so if there's anything else that I do that I deem important, I'll let you guys know in about five seconds. Anyways, enjoy the video. Alright, so that recap was actually kind of a lie because I actually ended up getting on this morning at like 4 a.m., 3 a.m., somewhere in there, and I ended up grinding a little bit more. So I finally took care of the dragon that's been giving us all sorts of problems. I can't remember which one I did first, but I ended up killing the boss at No Man's Wharf, and I also ended up killing the old dragon slayer at the Cathedral of Blue. With that out of the way, I'm pretty proud of everything that I accomplished yesterday. I feel like I got a pretty good bit done. Just in advance, I'm sorry if I look extra ratty today. Uh, even though Hurricane Ian just hit a bit ago, Florida decided that, hey, we need another tropical storm. So it was raining this morning when I was out of my run. So I look a little extra ratty today. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, here we are. We're in the shaded woods. I haven't been here yet. I went ahead and opened up a bunch of areas we haven't been to yet. I went down to the well and I lit up the bonfire down there. I went over to Huntsman Corpse, I think the place is called. I lit up some bonfires over there. I've just been doing a whole lot of like exploring and trying to find new areas, but I've been making sure not to go too deep into each area because I want to have like as many raw reactions to the areas as possible because I know even though, you know, people love the action and the boss fights at the exploration and like kind of just seeing like the crazy art direction of these areas is also pretty exciting. There's also a lot of things that I left out of the recap that I forgot to mention. Like you can probably see I'm glowing green. I ended up getting the Chlorinthy ring, I think it's called that you know lets you regen your stamina faster that is huge and you probably noticed yes i am finally one handing the great sword if you want to kind of have a peek at my stats real quick this is what baraka hey 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 who is throwing shit at me listen pal i'm trying to make a fucking video so if you back off i'd appreciate it anyway here's my stats uh it's so unbalanced right now i finally started leveling up vitality because this is not like dark souls 1 and dark souls 1 leveling up endurance also increased your equip load 
But I didn't know that in this game, it's a completely different stat. I don't know why so many things have changed between now and then, but it sucks. But anyways, yeah, I'm cool with where my adaptability is at for now. Right now, I'm just focused on leveling up my equip load so then, you know, we're not rocking at over half. I want to get it to at least like 50%. I don't know how realistic that is or how many levels it's going to take to get my uh, equip load up that high. I got my great sword up to plus six, still rocking out with that. And yeah, I'm trying to wear like the lightest stuff I can. I know the rings add on some weight, but it's literally only like 0.2 for some of them or one for others. So it's not that big of a deal. Seagull Sausage left another S tier comment last night. And it was actually the thing that got me to start focusing on my equip load because he said right now with uh, the way I'm rocking out with my 80% freaking equip load, I look like a drunk turtle every time I roll around. And I don't know why the image of a drunk turtle rolling around in my mind made me laugh i'm definitely sticking with a strength build for this game that's actually the route that i went in dark souls 1 as well and while i know people are always like yeah you know you should you should try different builds and stuff like that i don't know the only other builds i'd really ever oh my god it's so foggy what the hell i didn't know silent hill was in dark souls 2 the only other builds i'd ever be interested in probably are like i don't know sorcery like that that's always been really cool to me i actually really want to try a sorcery build but i don't know i just i'd rather go with shrank always been much more of a melee guy so like going up slicing him in the face is always just so much more satisfying to me I really have no idea where to go there's three different ways i went in there but i ended up getting shot by invisible people so i think i'm gonna go straight i'm gonna be honest i've been really back and forth with my opinions on dark souls 2 like i made a video two nights ago being like eh, dark souls 2 is growing on me then last night i was back to hating it and now today i know it's changing on a video by video basis but i'm honestly like in love with this game i genuinely love this game for what it is and i feel like i'm starting to understand it I say that and immediately get stomped on by a giant fucking rhinoceros what is even happening all right this time we're gonna go left i don't feel like getting fucking sat on by like a two-ton monster again i heard that in its original development like before they did a bunch of weird changes and had to like kind of jigsaw what they had from the like pre-alpha builds together that the game at its core was always supposed to be like an open world almost similar to like an elden ring type of thing and it definitely show like this game is much more open and i'm starting to really appreciate it for that honestly as somebody that likes older rpgs like morrowind and like the older elder scrolls games like i can really respect this game for what it does where it just like really forces in the whole exploration aspect and like just kind of forcing you to figure it out on your own i'll admit i wasn't digging it too much at first but that was just because i was comparing this game to dark souls 1 and not taking it at face value and accepting it for what this game is rather than comparing it to its predecessor and ever since i started kind of accepting it for what it is i've started enjoying it a lot more all right we're leaving this place I don't know if I need like transient curses similar to the first game, but I am not dealing with these invisible dudes. This shit's gonna piss me off so fast. I already know it. All right, so we're over here at the Grave of Saints now. This, I hate this place with a passion. Anybody that knows me knows I have a massive rat phobia. And guess what they spammed in this area? Fucking rats. I hated the depths in Dark Souls 1, and it was nothing even to do with the area itself. I didn't mind the area as much as other Dark Souls players do. I just hated the fucking rats, and the fact that there was a giant rat just felt like From Software was spitting in my face, dude. Man, you know how Dark Souls is with the enemy spam, or Dark Souls 2 at least, and I, you know, you come down here just bombarded by like 15 rats at a time, I can't take it. Alright, so it looks like there might be a bridge or something that I need to bring down. I bet that I need to use a Pharaoh's Lockstone to bring that down. Wait, there's another one over here. Wait, what the hell? Which one should I activate? There's like two of them. Gosh, yeah, there's three of them. What the hell? <laughs> Which one do I use? There's one in the wall, there's one down there, and there's one over there. Is this something I could buy? Like, can I buy the lock stones because I only had one of them before I get the quarantine ring. Oh no, I'm gonna take a look around and see if I can figure out anything else. Yeah, look at this. There's literally, there's like one, two, three, four. Like, there's all, they're all over the place up here. Oh my god, you see that? There's a white mist over there. I bet there's a boss over there. We got a bonfire right next to the white mist. Oh my god, dude. I bet there's gonna be like some giant freaking rat bo Can I use bonfire? Oh, wait, fuck off, dude. Get out of here, Ratatouille. I haven't watched that movie in ages. I want to go rewatch it now. All right. Is there any spooky bosses in here? Nope. It, 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 nope. It's just 20 rats. Good fucking guy. <laughs> to be fair, I think 20 smaller rats is definitely a lot bigger than one massive rat. I think if I saw that, I might have a PTSD attack right now. Royal Rat Vanguard. Which one is it? Like, what? Is there like a giant rat coming? Dude, I can't. I cannot with this room. This is too many rats. I'm literally like, I'm getting sick to my stomach. I cannot do rats. I hate rats. There was like a giant health bar. It said the Royal Rat Vanguard. Is that. Is, is there like one giant rat that comes and that's the boss? Or. or are all of these rats kind of like connected to one health bar, if that makes sense. I guess I, the best thing I could do right now is maybe just move around, try not to get swarmed by these guys. Okay, the health bar just showed up. Which one of you guys, it, like, yeah, how do I get rid of this health bar? I'm so confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Killing the bosses doesn't affect the health bar. It doesn't seem like there's a specific boss. Like, how do I beat this? I kill more rats than I want to know what the, oh wait, it's actually starting to do something. Okay, so I think it is just like all of these guys are connected to one health bar. Yeah, there it is. We're making progress, baby. Oh no! Oh, no, oh my god, dude, I don't...
Uh, I'm gonna use an effigy and I'm just gonna pray that there's a summon outside of this door because I do not want to do this alone. I need help. Summon, oh summon, please tell me there's, there's no summons. God fucking damn it. All right, well, time to just do what I did before. Just gonna slay all these rats and hope that it goes well. Oh my God, dude, I'm getting chomped by these fucks. I have this stupid saying that I like repeat in my head every time I'm in a challenging Dark Souls boss. I mean, I know this one isn't really challenging. It's just more the fact that there's so many of them that it's easy to get overwhelmed. I always have this stupid saying I repeat in my head. It's like nothing kills a man faster than greed. And I always keep that in the back of my mind because like if you get greedy in these fights, you're gonna get fucked. You gotta play it slow. Play it tactical. All right, there we go. We made the first big dent in the health bar. Just kind of keep going strong. We're already almost halfway. Come on, Grotesque. You can do this. No, no, no. His health bar was almost... Oh, my fucking God. Did you see the health bar? I was helping there. Normally, I would keep pushing on for the video sake to get it done, but I need to stop playing. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, I have a really bad rat phobia. I have to take a break for a bit. <laughs> anyway, as always, a shout out to the Patrons. Come as figure. I'm all low booty tab. Big Daddy Maddie and Desperado. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Peace.